People be telling you, I love you, and they actually haven't loved you. They're just trying to get to you. They just want to use you. They will want to just have a little party with you. And next thing, they'll drop you out and they'll be telling another 50 girls at the same time, the same thing. Yes, wallahi, it's happening. Ask the youth and they will tell you true. Not true? Okay, they shy to nod their heads. You can nod them after the cameras leave, inshallah. May Allah forgive us, really. Do not do that. Do not abuse people. They are someone's sisters, someone's daughters, someone's mothers, someone's, for example, aunts and so on. Just like you have. You would not like your relatives to be abused. Why are you abusing others? Quite simple. That is the hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Today in the Western world, they are teaching you to say, don't abuse a female before abusing her. Think for a moment before getting there, before even thinking about that. You'd rather ponder over the fact that she is someone's sister. She could have been your sister. She is someone's mother. She is someone's daughter. Well, that's taken directly from the words of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says, when a man came to him and told him, Oh messenger, I want to commit fornication. Wow. A'udhu billah. Then the LOL definitely stands for La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Allahu Akbar. He had the guts and the courage. Well, the message was for us. He did not commit it, but he said the word. Perhaps he might have had the idea and he wanted help. And this is why my brothers and sisters reach out for help. And oh, you who are helping others, do not abuse them. Allahu Akbar. Oh, you who are helping others, do not abuse them. Today we have a sickness where someone comes to you for help, whether it is financial help, whether it is any other form of help. And we abuse the status Allah has given us, the wealth Allah has given us to try and lure them into sexual misconduct or something of that nature abuse them in some way may allah forgive us really may allah strengthen us where is the ummah heading come on we need people who have values we need morals so muhammad وسلم, looks at the young man and says hang on come here would you like it for your sister he says no i wouldn't not at all would you like it for your mother someone does it he says no would you like it for your daughter no well they are all sisters and mothers and daughters of someone so how would you? He says, I understand. I will not do this. Wallahi, I will never do this. Amazing. Today, the West is teaching us something after they have sl slid into difficulty. But we have the ingredient from a long time ago. The Muslims lead a disciplined life. So disciplined that subhanAllah, if you are to follow true Islam, your problems will be minimized. Nobody saying you won't have issues and problems. Those are tests from Allah, but they will not come in as a punishment. You will understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing. Amazing. So let me say something, something very, very important. Islam has the solution to your problem. The problem with us is we don't want to follow the solution. Imagine the doctor tells you, you need to drink this. It's a little bit bitter, but you need to have it morning, afternoon, evening. In fact, let me make it more interesting. The doctor says, you want to really be cured from this huge disease you have. You need to get up at 15 minutes past two every morning and have five spoons of this. Wallahi, you'll be getting up at 13 minutes past two and waiting the other two minutes. As soon as it clicks 15, you'll be drinking it because you want cure. We need cure for the diseases of the heart. Salah is the beginning point together with istighfar and asking Allah's forgiveness. Ask Allah's forgiveness. He loves you.